spoilers ahead for My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 2. Yeah. This episode relies heavily on Endeavor. Hawks, Hawks yes. <laughs> Hawks, Endeavor, and we get a little bit of Deku action towards the end. But uh, why don't you... Uh, why don't you give us your first impressions, Jeremy, on, on this episode and where you think we're going from here? Well, we have a um, we start off with a with like a lot of flashbacks for Hawks, which I really love the Hawks character. Like it's like it's one of the best powers you can have, just like multitasking plus levitation. And also you can fly. And I don't know, like they kind of hint that he has a, a background that kind of bothers him, but you know, he's super dialed into being a hero. And yeah, then they show, cool. like, he had a different childhood. Like, everyone else was kind of, like, held back or stopped from working from being a hero when they were a kid. But he was, he stayed a bunch of people using his power, and he didn't get in trouble. They, like, they put his family up in the Ritz, and, like, <laughs> everyone stared at him, like, be a hero. Which is, like, <laughs> was was he in, like, a different county where that's legal? I mean, right. I it's it's, like... Texas, you're allowed, like, in Texas, they use, you know, child hero labor. And in New York, it's illegal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, wh- what would happen in this world if your power was, like, you can breathe faster than... I, you know what I mean? Like, what if it was a power that you needed, I don't know, to survive? Could you use it, or do you just have to die? Have we seen anybody who isn't a hero that has like the transformation power true like, the people that's all like the person that's always a dog or just like someone who's like a fucking tree walking <laughs> around i think they either become a hero they just get put into like a grinder or something turn, turn yeah into soil and green hey hey you're quit using your power but this is this is my skin stop it stop <laughs> having skin yes skin him <laughs> he's not licensed Oh yeah, because isn't the police chief like a just a dog, a yeah, dog man? <laughs> so. The dog. It doesn't, as far as we can tell, he doesn't have any power. He just has to be a cop in order to be allowed to exist. But he's not even a hero, so he's breaking the rules. Chop his head off. No, no. If, if, if you're like under. a sergeant or above, you get to be a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, Hawks has an Endeavor action figure, which this yes. would have been during the time. When Endeavor was the less popular, you know, second place to All Might. He's just he's just one of those people that wh- whoever's like the main person, he likes the the you know the the one that's against him because nobody like really if, likes Endeavor. It's like it's like if you watch basketball in the nineties and and uh, and uh, Pippen's your favorite player. Yes, one hundred percent. My favorite player was Carl Malone. Am I weird? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, Carl Malone's I'm, the man. Why is a rapper your favorite basketball player? <laughs> yeah, he played basketball in the 90s, and now he's <laughs> like a rapper. Post up, Malone! <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> um, we get our first glimpse of the rabbit chick, whose name is Mirko. And she is... People probably know her, even if they haven't seen this episode yet or read the comics. Mm-hmm. Because she's like the uh, slutty cosplay queen right now. Like everyone, you know, like those girls that have the OnlyFans and all that stuff, they they dress up like her. So Only she, the chicks with like really, really big feet, though. <laughs> yeah. I like, mean, I, I don't know. When she stomps the car, her foot like basically takes out a section that would be the size of a car engine, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it goes in waves, you know, like who's the, who's the top uh, cosplay person? Because for a while, did you ever see the show Kill a Kill back yeah. in the day? Yeah, that that was the popular one. And right now it's Mir- Miracle. She's she's a pretty cool character. If, if you guys read the comic, she's she's really fun. I'm glad to see her in here. So um, she comes in just to just to fend off Dobby. Um, who was slowly walking towards Hawks in uh, Endeavor. Endeavor, who had just fought the... It looked like he got his eye ripped out, but it was really just like a gash over his eye. And <laughs> there's a moment in this when Endeavor's let, uh, let out of the hospital that I thought was really... It was a, it was a pretty strong moment because <laughs> Shoto is sitting at the table with his uh, brother and sister, Sister's name is Fuyumi, 
and the brother's Natsuo. And uh, Endeavor comes in and he's got the big scar over his eye. And uh, Shoto, who has the burn from his mother, kind of yeah, looks scared. Out. They both have a scar in the same space, in the same place now. Just Endeavor's yep. a different shape. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, ooh, quite the scar you have there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> The uh, older brother will not accept Endeavor whatsoever, and the sister just wants she just wants everyone to get along. You can't. the The problem is you can't really force anyone. Like, you forgive people on your own time. If you try and force it, it's never going to work. Dude, yeah, but I mean, he knew his father was coming, so he went there in order to storm out. Pretty much, yeah. He so you know he... that matches that matches some of the history of my family. So yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> Yeah, he just Showing wanted up to just to yell and then leave. Yep, sounds about right. Yep. He just wanted him to know that he was going to storm out because if he didn't show up, exactly. the sister could have made up an excuse for him or something. Oh, he's he's working late. He couldn't make it. But no. He's got to show, "Oh, I'm hanging with with my siblings, but once you get here, I'm out." You and I were talking about this before we started, Jeremy, but in the I'm I'm going to try to avoid um, referencing the the manga a lot, mm-hmm. but specifically delicious, Japanese, d- delicious fruit from Jamaica. What does that have to do with this, though? <laughs> yeah, manga. Um, I I did notice that in this episode, it shows Hawks uh, speaking with Dobby as if they're working together, as if uh, Hawks mm-hmm. is a traitor. Instantly, it snaps to the next scene, and it's like. Oh, yeah, Hawks, we need you to go undercover, which is another flashback you referenced earlier. Yeah, they don't spend any time, like, letting us wonder if Hawks... Yes. (laughs) ...he's a double agent. Yeah, they they let you sit there for 45 seconds, like, is he? No, not Hawks. And then it's over. But I'm pretty sure it's at least a few chapters of us wondering in the comics. So if you need your My Hero fix, go read that. And that's the last I'll... I'll say of that, but uh, he is working undercover to try and get inside on the League of Villains, and because uh, Dobby's a real, real sick bastard. And yeah, I don't know if they do a better job of this in the manga, but in the in this episode of the anime, terrible job of trying to be an infiltrator. It's like, hey, I did one thing for let me let me meet the boss now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, literally in one conversation. He's he's being openly suspected. He says, "Hey, let me go and meet the boss." And could there be no security there? It's like you, the plot to crou- to um hidden tiger crouching uh, dragon or whatever. Yeah, but like in thirty seconds, and they they didn't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine uh, some sort of? I'm su- I'm sure this happened in the Sopranos or something. It's like, oh well, I picked up uh, Joey from from practice. Can I meet the boss now? It's like, wait, no. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and uh, the the final bit. So everything is setting up. So we're we're setting up Endeavor with his family. We're setting up Hawks and in infiltrating the League of, of Villains. I almost called it League of Legends. <laughs> but much I guess more, the... much worse than League of Villains. League of Legends <laughs> is. It, I mean, yeah, one of them wants to destroy all life, but the other one is just awful. And the last thing we see is is Deku, who meets the uh, vestiges, they're called. It's all of the prior. If you guys remember back to the uh, tournament and when stupid ass Deku talked to uh, what's his face there? What's what is oh, the guy's hypnosis questions? <laughs> yeah, the hypnosis, dude. When Tailboy told him specifically not to do it. I'm Jeremy and I ran about this for for quite some time. but Forever. Yeah, and uh, they oh, like the broke his... character. <laughs> Did they like break his finger right to wake him up when he was mind controlled? Yeah, yeah. Like no, no. They moved his um. Like he activated one for all, but like the ghost inside him moved his finger. Right. Which has some real questions. Like, what if it's all a plot? What if one for all is gonna take over his body? I'm thinking that's where we're gonna go, like the end, of, like that episode in Supernatural when like the devil and God inhabit the two brothers and they have a big fight. Spoilers for five seasons ago on Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Did, uh, does the first show twenty-five like, seasons are good? It kind of dropped yeah. off after that. 
the show just will not die. Is it still going? I don't. I don't care. Okay, fair enough. The Walking Dead did that thing. Se- season twenty six. You were like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we killed God, but he was the fake God. This is the real God. Oh no. Uh, currently fifteen seasons, and it's still going. So. Oh my God, that's just. It, it, it's it, it was a good show, but it, just let it go. Just let yeah. it go. It's, you don't watch The Simpsons anymore. You need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, I'll do a show that's still good. <laughs> yes. We, it's all, Deku comes like back from training, exhausted, doesn't take a shower, just lays down on it. Does he do his own laundry? I don't know. You might... I don't care how tired you are. If you do your own laundry, you're not going to bed without taking a shower. Right. And Phil he, monster. I guess he goes on like a vision quest. Talking to the great spirit of uh, the body snatchers. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's all, previ- all eight of the previous users. And most of them are... You can, you can see most of them, right? And then we get down to where All Might is. And he's like kind of there, but kind of not. Because he's still alive. Is the the common uh, theory there? Oh, I thought it was because of um. Well, right. Well, I actually, well, actually, right now, there's no common theory. Is there? Like up to this point in the anime, there's no indication of anything. That's true. All we know is because All Might is sick. He and he gave him the power, but right now, you know, All Might, All Might has the power. I mean, All Might can still do stuff, just only for like a certain period of time, right? Uh, no, what, we're, what a, we're referencing by accident is, well, you, well, I don't know if you're referencing it on purpose, is the movie that we reviewed where it's revealed that Deku is, uh, is taking the power from All Might. Right. Um, right. Well, to this point in the anime, so in season three, uh, All Might has the fight with All for One. Where the last bit of of the uh, the last bit of one for all drains out of him. Oh, well, I didn't realize it was a draining of one for all. I thought it was just him being injured because yeah. he didn't. They didn't say anything about like the, about the one for all draining when he fought the Nomu, but that reduced his ability to to power to go to perform as well. Right, and it was uh, so He's just missing all of his organs. <laughs> symbolically in that episode um so this is kind of a weird thing so we haven't talked about it on this show yet to this point but because we've skipped ahead you know what i mean so we've yeah. done up to uh season two uh discussions of my hero academia for the show but now we're jumping to season five so the light flickers out it's a symbolic uh flickering of all of one for all and um all might doesn't cannot go back to the muscular form he's stuck as like the decrepit little man so yeah, yeah. i didn't realize that was him losing his power i thought that was him you know not having a spleen <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's the last time he is actually uh all might i mean he's still all might but the last time he's the big muscle form yeah, I was I was kind of thinking that he was using one for all to stay alive with all of his organs gone. To be honest, true. That's a good point. But yeah, he uh, he because can't use it. normal humans need those. Yeah, I believe everything that was but the appendix. <laughs> season three, right? Yeah. Um, Hitoshi Shinso is the guy's name, by the way, the manipulator guy that uh, that got Deku in uh, season two we get like a reenactment of the interactions between the original one for all and all for one who's always been a dick (laughs) and it shows him uh, stealing powers from some people and giving them to others, trying to convince his brother to that. That's okay to, you know, to help him to join in because the combination of the two quirks is, is what they need, right? Wait, the combination of the two quirks, which, which two quirks are you talking about? One for all and all for one. Because I thought that um, I didn't realize that they combined. I thought all for one was used to take one for all from one person and give it to all for one's little brother, who then became 
one for all. Right. Because he had that stockpiling quirk mm-hmm. and um, all for one wanted to use the stockpiling quirk to gather as many, to steal as many powers as he could and distribute them as he sees fit. Cause if yeah, he, he basically uses his, his ability to give and take powers to make people into, cause like they show him making one, like meeting two people like this guy doesn't have a quirk and he's sad. He doesn't have a quirk. This guy doesn't like his quirk and he's sad. He doesn't like his quirk. So he gives the, the quirk from one guy to the other and then they both join his cult. Yeah. Which, what's the point of wanting to not be weird if you're, if you're then going to join a cult? Right. Like, you're in a cult now. You don't, you're not normal. Right. <laughs> yeah, so what I, the way I interpret it, at least, is that he's just, let's say he steals your, your quirk and my quirk. He'll just, like, store them within one for all if he was cooperative. Mm-hmm. Until he's ready to give mine and your quirks to someone else, I guess would be the only uh, only explanation I can think of. Because he doesn't really need it, but if he's if he's gonna be just going around stealing, you know, gathering up a bunch, he'll need his brother. That's like a sidekick. <laughs> so he, just <laughs> he just wants <laughs> his brother to be a sidekick because that's the only family he has. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's also like a megalomaniac who is, you know, running a cult. Yeah. He looks like a goddamn psychopath, too. So that's all. Really, I, I, I thought he looked like All Might. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <no. laughs> Although All Might does train like a, like a psychopath. True. Just that's like great. showing up. Oh, you got nine minutes here. Try this quirk out. Go punch a skyscraper. <laughs> Good job moving those refrigerators. Oh man, I love and, this um, shit. <laughs> yeah. So, and then Deku just has a conversation with the guy. So I don't know if it's like a memory of him, and Deku has his memories, and so he's imagining what the guy would say if he met Deku because he has him inside of him in a way. Or is that guy just actually living in there? And like Which he's having a conversation with a conscious, cognizant entity that's just alive <laughs> inside Deku. Is he looking I'm, out there? Like, is he watching the whole time? Like, no, don't do that. Yeah, I believe he's. Uh, everyone in that in that whole scenario is living within one for all, except for all for one. That sounds like really awful. Like, he's got to sit there, like, and just be <laughs> inside someone's body while they're pooping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everyone's gonna watch Deku loses virginity. No, and you're doing it wrong. <laughs> At least they'd have like poker buddies too. Like they wouldn't have to play solitaire. They could just, you know, well, you got, you got friends a, forever. A poker table inside Deku right now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I didn't figure out what he meant, what um, one for all meant when he said we're long past the singularity point. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, there's no hint of All Might like being on the other side of the singularity point. So what does he mean by long past? Like what was, why is all might, why is Deku seeing all this and all might apparently didn't like, you think he would have worried. He would have told him about, Oh, you now you're possessed by nine people <laughs> yeah. and kind of me. Right. I, I'm not sure. I don't yeah, Cause he said we're long past the singularity point. I was, I was, when I first started watching this, I was thinking that Deku was going to be like the singularity point because mm-hmm. he said like oh i we took everyone took the power and like nurtured it or grew it and passed it on and so deku was like the catch point right but he said we're long past the singularity point and Deku's only like deku's never even hasn't even used one for all at 100 percent yet right he's at like what 25 percent or something like that he's just he's slowly going up like a windows update Oh, I guess he did, though. He did use it at 100%, because when they were fighting against Chisaki in the previous arc, in the uh, previous season, he had Aerie uh, healing him, healing all his stuff. So, I'm pretty sure he used... And then he tried to say, like, one for all, 10 million percent. It's like, no, you you did 100, so... Kaioken times five! (laughs) Yeah. 
Super uh-huh. Saiyan 2. What will beat this guy strong with Super Saiyan 2? Super Saiyan 3. I can't wait till we finally watch that that episode or that season for the show. Or to this point, maybe we already have. I don't know how time works anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're past the singularity point. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's everything. Just um, flashback, scars, foreshadowing. Yeah. No fighting, but a really cool episode if you like the story. Yeah. And if you don't like the story, well, get on it. <laughs> I love the story. It's great. It's it's a whole lot of, of, of setup, which is totally fine. Because very soon, especially coming with this uh, Class 1A versus Class 1B, We're going to get a lot of action very soon here.